A former bodybuilder dislocates his shoulder, goes to an emergency room, and now, all because of a nurse failing to recognize the neurological signs and symptoms of a neurological emergency, this man loses total use of his entire arm. You want to know what this is about? Come join me as I share with you this remarkable information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law in the state of New York. I'm in sunny Sanibel Island, Florida, and my wife is still on the beach picking shells, having a great time. So I've got a few moments to share this remarkable story with you. So now, this guy was a former bodybuilder, really buff guy, huge muscles. And now he's horsing around with a friend, and in the course of horsing around, he dislocates his shoulder. And now he goes to the local emergency room, and the doctors there recognize immediately he's got a dislocated shoulder. Well, they start to try and put it back in, manipulate his arm to put it back into the socket. Well, his muscles are so big that they can't do it with just one guy. So they call in a second doctor, and a third, and a fourth. Five doctors are working on this guy to try and manipulate his shoulder back into place. They can't do it. So they give him anesthesia, they give him painkillers. And now, the swell from the manipulation, his arm swells up. And ultimately, they get it back into place. And they say, you know what? We're going to have you hang out overnight, watch you. We're going to see what's going on because we've now pumped you up with all these painkillers. We've given you some light sedation. Let's go ahead. You rest. We'll watch you. Over the course of the night, what do you think happens? He begins to have pain and tingling in his fingertips. And he tells the nurse on duty, hey, listen, I've got pain and tingling in my fingertips. What does that mean? You know what she says? Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. An hour later, the nurse comes by again, and he makes complaints similar to that. Listen, I'm having more pain, more tingling, numbness in my hand, but now I've also got it in my arm. And she says, don't worry, you'll tell the doctors in the morning about what's going on. By the time the doctors come in and make their rounds in the morning, it's now about four or five hours later. And now he tells them, listen, I've had these complaints for the past five, six hours, and nobody did anything. They immediately get him an emergency CAT scan. Now they're getting worried. Now they recognize he's got some significant problems. And they say, listen, we've got to get you into surgery immediately. There's a big problem going on. And you know what the problem was that they didn't tell him about? There was a collection of fluid in the axilla that they believe was compressing the nerves that controls the fingers and the hand. So now they had to get him into surgery to try and release that pressure and drain that fluid. And if they didn't do that, there was a good likelihood that that nerve, the nerve collection that controls the hand and the arm would be dead. So now they go and do this emergency surgery. They cut him from his arm all the way down to his waist, cut him right open. And they were able to actually release that fluid. And that was exactly the problem. This buildup of fluid was compressing the bundle of nerves that was controlling his arm and his hand. This was a neurological emergency. And they were hoping that by releasing this pressure now, hours later, he wouldn't have any permanent problem. Well, all their prayers were for nothing. You want to know why? because they lost that window of opportunity. The nurse failed to recognize that this was a neurological emergency. The nurse failed to tell a doctor on duty, a resident, about this neurological problem. And as a result of that, this patient lost total use of his entire arm. Because once the nerve was killed off, what that meant was that his arm would atrophy as if it wasn't being used. It would literally wither away over the course of weeks and months. So now this guy who was big and buff and had great big muscles on one arm, now this other arm, which was no longer innervated by this particular nerve because it was killed off, now it was literally going to wither away. And it would look like a fraction, like a shriveled up arm. And that's ultimately what happened here. And that mistake by this nurse cost the hospital one million dollars. So now let me ask you this question. If somebody offered you one million dollars in exchange for the loss of use of your arm, would you do it? Of course you wouldn't do it, but that's exactly what happened to this gentleman. So why do I share this great information with you? I share this story with you just to give you an insight and an understanding about one case that I was able to help this gentleman obtain compensation for the injuries that he suffered because of incompetence by a hospital nurse. And you know, I realize you're watching this because you likely have questions or concerns about your own medical care. Well, if your matter happened in New York and you're contemplating bringing a lawsuit, what I encourage you to do if you've got legal questions is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day, even when the trucks go by and make noise. No, seriously, this is what I do every single day, and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.